The ways of men are not always the ways of God. You don't know what is good for you better than the person who created and made you. Sometimes we desire certain things, and even when heaven is fighting against the possibilities of such things, we are bent on having it our way. We want it like that, disregarding the signs, the admonitions, the warning and strikes. God specifically admonished us in Romans 12, 2 to 3, and do not be conformed to this world any longer with its superficial values and customs, but be transformed and progressively changed as you mature spiritually by the renewing of your mind, focusing on godly values and ethical attitudes, so that you may prove for yourselves what the will of God is. That which is good and acceptable and perfect in His plan and purpose for you. Three, for by the grace of God given to me, I say to every one of you not to think more highly of himself and of his importance and ability than he ought to think, but to think to have sound judgment, as God has apportioned to each a degree of faith and a purpose designed for service. That which you want might not be God's perfect will for your life. You have been unable to let go and hold to hold it back, despite the signs and handwriting on the wall to let God. It is not God's perfect will for your life, but you still want it to be His permissive will. It might not allow you to climb to the heights God wants for your life. Let us examine in this series what God is pointing that you're unable to get over that person you're attracted to. Note that this can be in two dimensions. God is proving a point to continue or showing why you should let go. Four things God is pointing out when you can't get over that person you're attracted to for a relationship. One, it is God's good and perfect will for your life. We sometimes can't change the mind of God. When God has set things in motion to accomplish something, we may not be able to change it despite our praying and fasting, because He wants it to be the glory and honor of His name. The reason you have been unable to get over that person, you're in a relationship with that person, because that person is God's will for your life, and there's nothing you can do that can change that. God has planned the both of you together to accomplish things, and you would not be able to get over that person. You have been married with and to the person from heaven and what has been joined in heaven. It would take a higher authority and power to unbound or lose that. This is the reason you have been unable to get over that person. The sacrifice Jacob, Israel did, wasn't by his power or doing. God had prepared Joseph as a Messiah to the people ahead, and Joseph can only be conceived by the union of Jacob and Rachel. He was deceived and given Leah, but God had to plant the deep love there, and Jacob couldn't let go. He couldn't get over the love he had for Rachel. It was the perfect will of God for his life. The extra years he spent, we like days to him. This is the workings of God, because to God, a thousand days are like a day. That was what happened to Jacob. Two, the thought and plans the person has for you is good. Just like God has good plans and thought for us, He also sends people that would carry out those workings. Know this today: men are God's method. God works with and through men. You don't expect to see God carrying and moving you round to the place you're meant to be, but instead He sends men to do these things for us. When you're unable to get over someone you're attracted to in a relationship, it simply means that person was sent by God. That person is God's representative. The person is doing the biddings of God. You are aligned and connected to God. You seek God with all your heart, and as such, you can't be a victim of fake love or be deceived by people. God has sent that person to serve His purpose for your life, and you, being a faithful child of God, God has implanted the love and thought of that person in you, because two cannot work together except they are in agreement. The only way you can be in agreement and make progress is when you're unable to get over that person. The person's thought has been planted deep in you, and vice versa, so that you can be together and in agreement and make it to the end together. Three, 
The love is real and true. Only true love is bounded by this kind of feeling. If the feeling is not real or true, it won't last the test of time. You would get over the person. If you're after a person for something temporal, it won't stand the test of time when you try and can't get it. You would forget about it. But when you can't get over that person, God is pointing it clear to you that what exists between the both of you is real and true, and He is involved in it. You should be tired of what you're doing. You shouldn't be discouraged. It will stand long and be a model of godly relationship. Relationship ordained and approved by God. Jonathan couldn't stop thinking about the welfare and well-being of David, and David also. God was pointing out to them that they were destiny friends, and it was a good relationship. If David the king had not allowed the request of Ammon for Tamar to come to make a cake for him, he would have gotten over her. But it was granted to him, and we saw what happened immediately. He slept with her. The love and passion he had for her died down. When you're having undying love and care for someone, even after a long while, God is certainly telling and pointing it to you that He wants to create something noble, unique, and true with the both of you. The love would continue; it would wax stronger and stronger each day. That love would not make you sick, because that is not love, but obsession. And that was what Ammon had for Tamar. But in Jacob and Rachel, we saw that undying love—love love that couldn't go or die even after given another person. And this love was passed unto her son Joseph because the love was true and real. If it wasn't, if it was an obsession, Jacob, Israel, would have wanted to kill himself when she died, or decided to take her by force from her father, leaving Leah and run away. But he waited and served to have her. When she died, he mourned her and transferred the love to her son. This is true and undying love, and that is what God is pointing to you when you're unable to let go of that person you're in a relationship with. Four, your assignment is not over yet with that person. When you're in love with someone and still have things to do together, you would not be able to get over that person. But when the assignment and purpose of someone in your life are over, you would be able to get over someone and can move on. When Saul has been disobeying God and disregarding his instructions, as passed by Prophet Samuel, Samuel couldn't get over him because he was the one that anointed him as king over Israel. But God had to tell him. Why are you worried and can't get over King Saul? I have disposed him and have raised someone in his place. Go and anoint David. You wouldn't be able to let go when you still have an assignment with that person. You need to remain aligned and connected to God, so that if the person's purpose in your life is completed, you can get over the person and move forward and not remain stagnant. But when you are and still unable to get over that person, Your purpose and assignment are still tied together with that person, and there is nothing you can do about it other than to continue together. God doesn't delight in delaying us in life. Whatever He does for a purpose, He knew what He formed right from our mother's womb. He has prepared us for something, and has also prepared someone to help us in accomplishing that task and assignment. You can't get it wrong when you're aligned and connected to Him. You won't waste time because the world might see it as a waste of time. But time wasted with the person God prepared for you isn't a waste as such, but training for both of you. You would make an impact with that person. God might have tried speaking or showing your sign, but you haven't been paying attention, and that is why He's making you unable to get over that person you're in a relationship with. Maybe you want to move on, but you can't. Calm down and let God take over and take control. It would end well and please God.